Let's find the oxidation numbers for each element here in C6H12O6. This is glucose, or we're calling this glucose. If you're just given this, it could be a number of different compounds. But for this video, let's say it's glucose. So first, we'll find the average oxidation number for each element. And that's fairly simple. For the carbon, we don't really know what that is. But hydrogen here, when hydrogen is bonded to a non-metal like carbon or oxygen, it's going to be plus 1. So each of the 12 hydrogens is plus 1. And then oxygen, oxygen is almost always negative 2, except in peroxides or when it's bonded to the more electronegative fluorine. So the oxygen, that's going to be negative 2, each one of them. Since this is neutral, we don't have a charge on it. In a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers add up to 0. So all of this has to add up to 0, and we can just set up an equation. We have 6 times x, 6x. And then we have 12 times 1, that's 12. And 6 times negative 2, that's negative 12. All that equals 0. So 6x equals 0. x is going to equal 0. So the average oxidation number on the carbon atoms here, that's going to be 0. And this is most often what you're being asked in school. But you should understand that if we looked at the glucose molecule, these are two projections here. It's usually this form here as a solid. And then if you put it in water, most of it will be like this. Some of it will open up, and these will interconvert between each other. But it's a lot easier to see here that the carbons aren't the same. This carbon here, it's bonded to a carbon and a carbon, an OH and an H. Same for this one, this one, and this one. But the carbons on the end, they are different. And if you calculated their oxidation numbers, you'd find that this one right here, that's going to be plus 1. And this carbon down here would be a negative 1. So negative 1 plus 1, all of these are 0. You do get that average that is 0 over here. But because the carbons are bonded to different things, each carbon would have different oxidation numbers. Same for this form of glucose right here. This is Dr. B with the average oxidation number for glucose, C6H12O6. Thanks for watching.